Welcome to Raise a Glass to Palmer. I'm your host, Caitlin Espada with American Dream TV, and today we're gonna visit 203 Kombucha and Bleeding Heart Breweries here in downtown Palmer, Alaska. I'm here with David Bortz, owner of 203 Kombucha. Thanks for having us here, David. Of course, no problem. Um, you're the owner of 203 Kombucha. Tell us a little bit about how you came to open this. Um, well, kombucha has always been sort of part of my life. I came from California and it's very much a popular thing down there, mostly because the health and wellness trend started, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago there. So when I was living in San Francisco, I had a lot of friends who were making it at home and it was interesting to me. So that's where it first came into my life. And what made you pick Palmer, Alaska? When I got here after, I don't know, maybe like a couple months on the road, it was winter time and I had a two wheel drive and that has limitations, so I had to stay. I rented a cabin. To my surprise, they're very cheap, mostly because they have no running water. I learned about that, which is interesting because that's when this place started. So I was going to the gas station, getting water for myself, you know, and then also going to the uh, city of Wasilla kind of water supply and bringing back large jugs and starting to propagate the scobies in my cabin to make the kombucha. Having an opportunity for the youths, you know, youth people and families to go somewhere to hang out is, is important. So the fact that this is, you know, a very family friendly drink, it's not alcoholic and this place is sort of open to everybody. You can come hang out here, you know, you wanna buy kombucha, that's great. But if you just wanna come sit here and ask questions and talk to your friends and sample, that's great too. It's sort of just, it's like a welcoming, trying to make it welcoming for everybody. A nice family friendly yeah. hangout. Mm -hmm. That's not going to break the bank. Yeah, exactly. And you can drink coffee. We have coffee, you know, we have tea, a few other items. We are, it's a kombucha place. So, but people come here that don't even like kombucha and just will have a hot cocoa because it's sort of fun. at Bleeding Heart Brewery with Stefan Marty and Zach Lamphere. And let's jump right in. Uh, thanks for having us here today. Of course. Tell us a little bit about how you guys got started here with Ble Bleeding Heart. Do you wanna? Sure. Yeah. So uh, the story as we tell it is, uh, Zach actually was my high school teacher at the time. Uh, that's how we first met. Um, and uh, a, few, a few years after I graduated, I went over to their house to hang out. We had a bonfire and uh, he, busted out some bottles of unmarked beer uh, that he had brewed himself, and I was definitely 21. He was 21. For sure. Okay, yeah. it was yeah. legal. Yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, I, I was just fascinated with the fact that you could make your own beer. And so he, uh, he showed me how to brew, and the rest is history. We pride ourselves on being able to be uh, creative using a variety of different, specifically local ingredients, uh, while still making drinkable beer. So our coffee porter utilizes Alaska Artisan Coffee Company. They've been doing a breakfast blend coffee for us since the very beginning, yes. since our flagships. The Beet IPA, we use Alaska Beets, uh, Valley Grown. Um, when we do uh, any beer that has an adjunct that we can get locally, we do. We do it. We've yeah. been doing it. So that was part of what set us apart at the farm and what we still do today. We were actually the first uh, brewery to do a Kickstarter in mm -hmm. the state of Alaska and the amount of people uh, that rallied around us as a community uh, really stuck with us. And so if it wasn't for the people of Palmer, we wouldn't be where we are today. So we constantly try to give back. Uh, and uh, as Zach likes to say, uh, we are a brewery built by a community. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, look, me, look me in the eyes. Yeah, I'm looking in the eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing Bleeding Heart Brewery with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being out. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of touring 203 Kombucha and Bleeding Heart Brewery here in downtown Palmer, Alaska. I'm your host, Caitlin Espada with American Dream TV, and thanks for raising a glass with me.